That started a long time ago. It's time to get in. The siege on Ishtimbarosa sewers. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Inhoke Signal Vinces. Uh, this is session 35. We are plowing through these now that we're not canceling it every other session. Uh, <clears throat> definitely not my fault. Definitely not. Uh, Sometimes <laughs> Tice on Tuesdays. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure you guys are caught up to number 35 by going to bit.ly for slash leafjack gaming. And everything is perfectly laid out for you in a funnel playlist. I even found out you can do a special rule so that any video that starts with the beginning, which is in hoaxing open source, whatever, uh, automatically gets added. So I don't even have to do anything anymore. I just have to upload it. <laughs> I mean, well it done. Nice. Added it laziness. It'll only take you about three days to watch all of it, but that's fine. Uh, yeah. At two times what? Thirty-six is seventy-two. It's only like don't two mind. and a half days. No, that's for three days. Wow. <laughs> so we're yeah we're heading up to that point. Anyways, last we left off, the group uh, transversed the Aroth Okav Mountains, uh, <clears throat> where they avoided a fire giant. Got scared. One of them got scared by uh, what was probably uh, harmless, and <laughs> um, also kind of avoided large birds of different sorts. Correction: Birdosauruses. Birdosauruses. And there was a bird in the distance that Kylan was nervous about, but I do believe no one else really cared or saw it. Uh, if they did care, they just dealt with it in a different way by going around it. <laughs> you forgot the most important part. We avoid the caves. You avoided caves. Yes, it was Ho-Oh. Everyone gets to live forever. Eternal life. Eternal youth. <laughs> <laughs> Lugia is, a little, is probably more accurate. <laughs> Luigi. It's just going places. All right, so... um. Upon making it to the uh, brief camp, as uh, they are a nomadic tribe of Kor, because Kor are nomadic tribes, um, you found Far Traveler's tribe and talked to them a bit about what's going on, what to do, and uh, their role that they plan to take in the war to come. Which was going to be a very aggressive one against both sides. Um, <clears throat> after which, you guys had an interesting dinner. Oh, that and... was spoilers. <laughs> was it spoilers? I do believe they yeah. said. If I didn't say, it was implied. It was, it was supposed to be the implied. Implication was to make peace or war, but. Uh, well, okay. I think you just let your cards fly. Or peace. <laughs> hey, there is or... still possible. I'm just very war-minded, so I I just say war every single time. It's war or war. War or war. There is no war without war. <laughs> war never changes. Warmonger lord. It's true. I truly am. I push for war. Because war is where I know how to run campaigns, apparently. <laughs> Anyways. Um... They, their first attempt will be for peace, but they are preparing for war if that goes south. And uh, then you guys had a very interesting dinner, which involved a lot of salad for Thok and very little chicken for him and Jack. Well, actually, not chicken for Jack, but less for him. Uh, from there, everyone enjoyed the night sky as there was... Uh, three new moons and a waning gibbous in the sky and that was it uh thus causing a um a unusually dark night but at the same time a very pretty uh sky in the crisp mountain air as the stars shone through and twinkled in the, the distance 
So that is where we're going to catch uh, start up. Our session is after the night has gone by and you guys have rested. Unless anyone wants to do one or two last things before they rest, of course. Uh, I do. Okay. I would like to cast Locate Creature. What would you like to locate? The rock. The cave. The cave. <laughs> the cave. Uh, what is the distance on Locate Creature? It is... Oh, within a thousand feet. Yeah. Never mind. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, do you want to just post it real fast so I know exactly what it can No, I don't have a spell card for it, um, because it's not showing. I tried to load it on roll 20, and it wasn't loading. Oh, let's see if I can't find it. Locate. Creature. Hmm. It's significantly not working for me either. <laughs> Roll20 is having issues today, which was known. Yes. Uh, locate object isn't working. And neither is locate animals or plants. So. Um, Let's see if, there, if, I, if I have a spell that's saved, if it works in Roll20 still. Let's see if I like cast it. It still shows up if it's already in your spells. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that. And that's a little different of a place. Um, uh, One beast of challenge rating, two or lower. Is, it, is that really all it does? Oh, that's conjure animals. Yeah, no, that's that's my conjure animals. I didn't have locate creature in my spell list. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. I was like, oh, he has it up now, and that was like, that doesn't make sense. Okay, let me pull it up. Oh gosh, oh, flash Jack, away. if you would listen to what he's telling you, you'd know that he was just testing his database. I don't listen. I mm, established. <laughs> <laughs> all right describe or name a creature that is familiar to you you sense the direction of the creature's location as long as that creature is within a thousand feet of you if the creature is moving you know the direction of its movement the spell can locate a specific creature known to you or the nearest creature of a specific kind such as a, as a human or a unicorn so long as you have seen such a creature up close within 30 feet at least once uh if the creature you describe or name is it in a different form, such as being under the effect of a polymorph spell, the spell doesn't locate the creature. The spell can't locate a creature if running, running, running water at least 10 feet wide blocks a direct path between you and the creature. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to describe it well enough in your own head to cast a spell for it. Because it was ways away when you uh, saw it. Okay. Um. Anyone else want to do anything before the night's rest? I'm good. Okay. Oh. Nah. Go ahead. Okay. So. The night goes fairly uneventfully, and you guys get to witness a core morning, which involves a lot of core climbing to the highest nearest point. The pulling funny part out. is, once mm -hmm. one gets to the highest point, he becomes the highest point, and they just kind of stack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's more like uh, uh, the first thing that came to mind was who villains that. They just kind of go up the hill, and the late ones are down at the bottom, and the earliest one is at the top, uh, led by the the um, elders. They play a song to honor their ancestors. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and... Um, and then come down uh, from whatever point they had found and prep their meals for the day or for the morning. Anyone else doing anything? Inquiring about Girk. What? What? Girk? No way. I didn't have him planned at all. 
Um, <laughs> uh, okay. One second. Trying to get things to work out in my favor, and they're not. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways. Uh, yes. So, um, Gurk, as you find out pretty easily, is being kept in his own little teepee tent, um, being watched most of the time. He doesn't really go anywhere or do anything. Um, and, uh, for the most part, they bring him food, take the empty plates that they bring the food on, uh, after he's done eating, and bring him food and water again later. Uh, that he won't <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, and do you go to him? Uh, I guess. Okay. Uh, you find his rather small teepee. It's like one of a, a child's camping tent. Yeah. And inside is his Gurk just kind of staring at some parchment that he had probably asked for at one point. I will attempt to get his attention. Oh, 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 ha. Huh. Hi. It's you. Yes, the one who saved you from dying. Yes, thank you for that. But I'm kind of a prisoner. Uh-huh. What do you want? Well, first off, how are you doing? I'm alive, but I'm a prisoner. Yeah, we've already established that. Well, <laughs> since you didn't ask for anything right away, I guess there's no problems. I have what I need, I guess. See? There's no issue being a prisoner, then. I mean, I still can't go anywhere. Do you reckon you're fit enough to traverse these mountains? You'd probably be eaten by the first, uh... What are they? Quetzalcoatlus? They saw you. Doesn't mean I wouldn't like to go. I'm sure if you would like to go be eaten, that can be arranged. However... Not before really. that point, uh, we still need to know more about Mia Kasail. What would you like to know? Uh, if it gets me my freedom, I might be able to help. Well, first off, uh, you may not want your freedom because very soon Templars will be coming, and uh, I'm sure you know what Templars do to mages they find. I do. It's not good. So... You may want to stay with us for a little bit longer. Second off, we need to know where Mia Kasail is and how to get to it. Mia Kasail is... to the north. Somewhere. What'd you say, Flecken? Nothing. I was going to make a joke. Uh, as to how to get to it, that involves a very specific ritual that only a mage would know. I'm going to stare at him blankly. I know it, that's what I'm trying to say. You're a terrible audience. Oh, let me indulge you. 
How would that happen? How do you get there? Tell us, oh mighty mage. Slightly roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he might. He seems to notice that you're rolling your eyes, but he still is very happy by you saying that. Well, it's a summoning circle that I know how to draw, and after you draw it, you just say the the ritual, and you're done. You're there. Poof. As long as there's not a queue. Sometimes you're stuck in the ethereal, waiting to get there. Is it complete if your wait is completed? Or do you need to do something additional once you're on the ethereal? You just have to wait. That seems like you would make it extremely difficult to stage an assault on Mia Kaseo. It does help with that. That and they can turn off the summonings They're on their end. Well, if that's possible, then how did the Templars ever breach these cities? This is a very special one that uh, was harder to get to and also has been fortified since. I mean, it did survive being... Everything else fell. Do you want to think further about these defenses? I mean, some, but I don't need to tell you that. Why not? Because then you might use it against me. Why would I use that against you? If I wanted you dead, I would have simply thrown you to the elemental. You can get me in trouble with the boss. Well, frankly speaking, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to kill your boss, so that's not an issue. See, I don't like that either. Why? Because he's my boss, and he pays me, and taught me magic, but at a certain point. What do you need payment for? Living? In a... I look look around his tent. <laughs> when I'm not be... here, I live there. Mm -hmm. And how do you propose to get back there? By drawing my circle and leaving. Hmm. Seems like you're in a predicament because you haven't got supplies to do that. You didn't think you're playing through very well, did you? You weren't supposed to figure that part out, is all. Oh. My apologies. So, you being a rather moderately high-ranked wizard yourself, uh, do you know a way to bypass the queue and uh, cut in line, so to speak? I might. At this point, Thok is going to walk in and say, Oh, hey, Far Travel, I was just looking for you. Oh, hey, uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> who are you supposed to be? No, I don't, I don't know you. Don't worry about it. And, uh, I'm worrying about it. I'm being interrogated, and you just walk into my tent. Oh, you're being interrogated. Uh, Far Traveler, do you need help? <laughs> Uh, so far, no. He's mysterious, but compliant. You sure you don't want to rough him up a little bit? Oh, look at Girk. Do you need roughed up a little bit? I don't need roughed up a little bit. He's just mean. That's not a no. I'm being mysterious, but compliant, am I not? You might oh, want to be a little bit less mysterious. And I'm gonna like crack my knuckles and kind of like look at him very, like slyly. Make an intimidation check. Okay. Mm. 
Just do better than your stealth rolls. <laughs> a little better. A little bit. Hmm. That's pretty damn close. Uh... Fine! No need to be mean. What do you want? Besides what you've already been asking. I, I looked at Far Traveler to say, continue, I'm not sure what you were talking about, but continue. <laughs> well, you said you might know a way to cut in line and get through the uh, defenses quicker if you were an important person. How do you I do that? I do. I, it's just a slightly different spell with a little bit of extra components. Not, it wasn't that mysterious. Bah. What would you need to create this uh, teleportation circle? <clears throat> well, I'd look it up in roll 20, but that wasn't working. One second. Ah. Uh... So while I'm looking this up, what is everyone else doing? Uh, rare chalk and inks infused with precious gems with 50 GP, which the spell consumes. Yep. I just need you know, about 50 golds worth of materials. Rare chalk, inks, gems. And what do you need for the modified version? An extra 25 gold worth of gems. So, aside from your boss paying you and having taught you magic, what are your uh, objections to him dying? He has a mine to protect me from the Templars, and he's the leader of the mages. I mean, I grew up there. Well, I grew up on one of the islands, and then I... It, it's a long story, but in any case, he gave me sanctuary when no one else would. I'll cock my head to the side and say... You realize you have sanctuary amongst my people, don't you? I'm a prisoner. Have you been mistreated? I'm a fed prisoner. With a small tent. I want a bigger tent. And a writing did you, desk. Did you ask for any of these things? I wasn't negotiating. I didn't have anything to give. I didn't ask if you're giving anything. I, I said, did you ask? But that's not how things work with prisoners. They don't get unless they can give. You're familiar with Templar prisoners and mage prisoners. That's the war I'm in. You're currently in the Arathokat Mountains amongst the core. Who are your people? And you're the one who imprisoned me. Again, would you rather I just thrown you to the elemental? Hmm. No, but... Would you have rather I left you with the Templars? No again. But... But... No, I don't have anything. I'm out. Can I get Given... a larger tent and a writing desk with some parchment? Uh, very likely. We'll see. Then, I will do this for you. But you must promise that I am safe and your people will keep carrying me around. Because <laughs> I can't converse these mountains on my own. That does uh, put a hamper on being a free person, doesn't it? I think the one that got named Baby Carrier doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> and they're the ones who carry me. Or the one who does. 
Well, as long as you're willing to cooperate, I shall go see what I can do. Get me the materials and I can get you to Mia Cassell. Seems like a very fine trade. I will leave you to your papers now. Thank you. And if you care to glance at them at all, they're blank. He has no writing utensils to, <laughs> to use, so he just has the par parchment. I'm sure they're very, very neatly arranged, though. Very organized, and almost like he slightly folded some of the edges to make it look like there's differences, and those are organized in certain ways. Some are collated, some are like just stacked differently. He's bored. Doc is going to exit the tent, and before he leaves, he's just going to go and then leave. I can't see your face, so I don't know what you did. Oh, I don't uh, know what you did either. Two, two eyes, or two fingers to the eyes, and then like I'm looking at you. Now I can see your face. That. Okay. Yeah. What are you, a Templar? Uh, I mean, no. I'm just... That's enough. Got my eye on you. That, that's enough. <laughs> okay, while all this was transpiring, what were you guys doing, uh, the other three of you? I'm trying to convince myself that my hands are weapons. <laughs> You're unconvincing. <laughs> oh, Self-deception at its finest. First she wants levels of barbarian, now she wants levels of monk. Okay. <laughs> uh Jekt and Kylan doing anything in particular, just kind of chilling. Oh, I'm doing stuff. Nothing of significance. Okay. What's I'm Kylan going doing? To cast control wins. Mm-hmm. Uh and turn into a giant eagle. Okay. And I want to use I'm going to use control winds to up my speed for when I'm flying. And I'm going on a scouting mission to find a really big bird. Please don't die. We need you for the next plan. Do a survival check. I'm good at those. Oh, that's not supposed to be at advantage. That's okay. The 19 is the first roll. So we'll take it anyways. Um so as you do your scouting mission, mission, message, message, mission, uh, you find remnants of a large, uh, bird nests that don't seem to be uh, the, the Quetzalcoatlus or whatever the raptor birds, um, or the pterodactyl birds, um, including you know feathers of of extremely large size. Um, and after about five minutes or so, you feel like you found a uh, significant trail you could probably follow uh, if you choose to uh, pursue it. I will. Uh, this will take you quite a bit of time to do. Um, I have concentration up to an hour on my control wins. Okay, so you're going to go up to an hour on your journey? On, on at least just the controlling wins part, where I'm faster. And then I have plenty of time on my wild troop. Right, okay. Um. For... Uh, how fast can you go with controlling wins? It doesn't have a specific as to like how fast you can fly with it. But with an updraft, you can make a creature jump 10 feet higher than normal. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the best that I got for you. High or low? High, always high. Okay. 13 out of 10. Um, uh, you 
find a nest. A nest that has been built recently. That, uh... It's more of a, not a, uh, not like a I stay here nest, but more of a, um, the roaming nest. One that would go from one end to another, um, <clears throat> like a migrating bird would go, boom, nest, roost type of thing. Um, <clears throat> are there eggs? No eggs. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are no eggs. Um, just fresh bones, uh, some of which still have their meat of a large, uh, birds, including giant eagles, uh, and some uh, large land animals, which at the point you're at would be a significant distance, uh, to travel as the ground below you is a good 500, I guess it's not like super far. It'd be more like a thousand feet below um, where you're at. I circle the skies around the area to check the specific area around here. Okay, do a perception check. Sight based? Yeah. Okay, one, one sec, one sec. As you circle around looking below, you see a shadow on one of the islands, and your instinct is to look up for the source, and you find a gargantuan bird lunging at you from the sky. Uh, do I have, are we, how close is it? Uh, at this point, uh, not, but 300 feet away. <clears throat> I am going to, uh, <laughs> you're gonna fucking, this is gonna be great. Um, how long have I been out? How long have you been out? Yeah. An hour. So my gust, my uh, control wins is over. Yes. Okay. I'm going to uh, <laughs> turn turn over and undo my wild shape. And um, like falling backwards with it approaching me, like spread all the way out so that it can gain its distance toward me. And upon it getting within 60 feet of me, I'm going to cast dominate creep or dominate beast. Choose the number between one and eight. Hmm. Six. It's funny. I, I thought of the same number. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oops. Campaign broken. <laughs> Oh, and casting Dominate Beast at a fifth level. Okay. Um, how high up did you want to get? How high up? Yeah. However high it was coming at me from. I mean, when you were just circling around. Uh, I would leave that up to you um, because I'm looking for it and it's approaching from above me. Okay. I'd say that you'd go probably about 600 feet up, right? Does that sound good? Okay, because it was about a thousand um, when it started its descent, that is. Uh, does anyone know how fast you fall? Uh, depends on your weight. 9.8 meters per second squared. Yep. Kind of depends on if you're resisting or not, or if you're just falling, or if you have any sort of loose clothes there. I don't know if there's any rules in D&D &D for how... Like, I thought there was. There are definitely thought. rules in D and D. Now, whether there are rules in Fifth Edition, Fifth edition. <laughs> I thought there I was. They came out with them in, I want to say, um, Volos or whatever. Is Anathars? 
Possibly. It is the guide to everything. That's true. Hey, rate of falling, page 77. Huh. <laughs> oh, shit. They did indeed. Okay. Rate of falling. When you're falling from a great height, you instantly descend up to 500 feet. Oh. Wait, what do you mean instantly? Yeah, that's in insane. The six seconds in the round. Six seconds, 500 feet. What the fuck? Actually, that makes sense. 9.8 meters per second per second, right? Yeah. yeah. There's math in that. Uh, <laughs> I can do it. It's, I think, 32 feet per second per second. Uh, anyways, we'll just go with it. 500 is a nice round number. So you have about 100 feet until you hit the ground. Uh... Go ahead and cast Dominate Monster or Creature. What does that do? It uh, it needs to make a saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. He did specifically say Kylie was resisting falling. Yes, she was spread all the way out. Spread eagle. Oh, did I hit a button on accident? I did accident. Yes. What? Nope, that's not an accident. That's definitely the saving throw. <laughs> that is the role I was meaning to do, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, it fails. It has it's an action. It, its immediate command is catch the falling humanoid. Well, it was trying to do that anyways. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I would <laughs> probably not in Talon nor Beak. Uh... Uh... Sure. It zooms under you, catches you parallel uh, to your fall, and swipes you up. Um, make a uh, con save. That's not supposed to be the advantage. Uh, oh no. The force of being picked up like that jostles you quite a bit, and you're going to take some damage. Hmm. Is this going to initiate a con save to room to keep concentrating? Concentration. Yes. yes well, this one is an advantage. Oh baby. Okay, so as long as you don't take forty-three points of damage, you'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's, does it have? Uh. No, it's uh, rounded down. It would have to be 44. Would it have to be 44? Okay, okay. I'm trying to see... What the maximum damage you can take. points of damage. Oh, no. Ah, there it is. Is this actually a bird? Because birds are pretty fluffy. You will take half of what I'm about to roll. Yeah, but he was falling, like, basically at terminal velocity by this point. Doesn't matter how fluffy it is, suddenly he's jerky. <laughs> Holy cheese balls. Yes. 33 is less than 44. Well. <laughs> not in common core, it's not. <laughs> is that the math that they teach you in the camp? <laughs> what? I'm common. so confused right now. Common core math instead of C O R E, it's K O R. Oh, uh oh, uh, they don't teach us math. <laughs> Which is why Sorry, it's so guys. bad. Sorry, guys. Just forget that joke ever. <laughs> oh, that was okay, uh, your rock took a quarter of 66, which is 33 halved again. For 16. Like 18. Well. 33? It has 200. It'd be, it'd be 16. 16.5, really so it rounded down to be 16. Fair. Yeah. Does it get a save if it takes damage? I think he rolled the save. Alright. No, no, no. For. Oh. Um, uh, uh, let me see. Do it's inanimate head. objects get to roll saves? Each time the target takes damage, makes a new wisdom saving throw against the spell. Okay. Oh. Come on, last roll. 
Just make it good. Oh no. That's an 18 to save you. Too bad I wasn't there. <laughs> uh, it saves? On. Yes. Um, do I get a reaction when it, I sense the telepathic link being cut off? No. Well, <laughs> it's your turn, though, because this was all on its turn where it yes. used its action to catch you. Yep. N no reaction? Well, it depends on the reaction's cause, but you don't get just a reaction, like a <laughs> random reaction to do something ran or whatever. It is your turn, and if you have a reactionary spell, no. you could probably use it. But on my turn, I will cast Dominate Beast at 4th level. Okay. Another Wisdom save. Let's do that. Let's see it. I think I think we're starting to root for. Oh, God, Reef son Jack. of a bitch! Uh, <laughs> it saves. Yeah, uh, it flies two hundred and forty feet in the air. I grip tight. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to be trying to knock you off yet. Great. Well. It's not going to be able to. Your turn. I cast Dominate Beast. <laughs> Meets me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> One lower every time. Uh, it flies another 120 feet in the air. And then attempts to drop you. Animal handling? Um... Uh, Trying to remain, um, maybe at disadvantage? Acrobatics. Acrobatics, fuck you. <laughs> no! <laughs> I use my inspiration. Okay. Better. Good luck. Oh, oh! shit! <laughs> Where were those checks, man? <laughs> What the fuck is D and D? It it does a roll, but you grip on and you keep tight. Your turn. I cast animal friendship. It does a roll, but the roll is sort of frisbee styled, where it just sort of rotates. <laughs> animal friendship. Axis. It's another wisdom save. Okay. Okay, what does this spell do? It regards me as it regards me as friendly. Okay. Um, it takes its turn and kind of does like a, a, a kind of just floats there. Makes a little. I make those noises and I don't make them loud. But they're like booming in your ear, like. Bruh, bruh. Oh, it's not just regard as friendly; it's charmed. But yeah, that's just. Gonna Does be that have to be a beast? The animal friendship. Yes. Uh, yeah. It says convince a beast that you mean it no harm. It ignores you, and it goes another 120 feet in the air. <laughs> uh, would Kyla know that this is not a beast? Uh, do a nature check. Because if Kai Lin knows it's not a beast, then I don't think she would test that okay. spell. Yeah, it's not a beast. You may recorrect on it if you wish. Yeah, then I'm going to cast Dominate uh, Beast. So I do leave Dominate. Beast, Does it have to be a beast then? So wait, if it wasn't a beast, then it wouldn't have worked in the first place. Yeah, none of this would have happened. Oh, uh, well. It says you attempted to beguile a beast. Oh, yeah. I thought Dominate Beast was... I'm thinking Dominate That's Creature. Dominate Monster. Okay. Uh, to stay consistent, I'll say Animal Friendship actually works. Okay. So yeah, it just kind of floats there friendly to you. Uh, I'm going to talk to it now. Um... Hmm. 
I can't read Dominate Beast as it reads in SRD. Anyway. Uh, hmm. I, I am your friend. Do you have kin? Uh, what are you speaking at it? <laughs> Sylvan? Um, okay. It, it seems to understand and it, it sways a no. No. Hmm. This is hard. This is the hard part. Um, with your nature check, you would know that rocks are very solitary. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um. This is still combat. Where is? Is it still combat? Nah. Let me change music, maybe. If uh, if I take you to my friends, will you hurt them? Are they good food? <laughs> um, well, they wouldn't be good food for you. I don't think you can actually say that, so... <laughs> yeah, playing with a... What? Uh... Three intelligence is hard, man. Yeah. It, 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 it's been flying down to the ground, and it, it lands on a nearby island, and it it kind of, like, like acts like it wants food. Mm-hmm. Like, it's talon, just like every once in a while, will bring a talon up to its face, like, on its beak. You're hungry. Nods its head, Yes. I uh I can't believe I'm staring down a gargantuan bird right now that I that regards me as its friend. This is nice. Um good luck, buddy. What where where do you hunt? It, it spreads its wings wide. <laughs> and kind of gestures everywhere. Chicago. Hmm. I I'll offer up a scrap of meat and kind of toss it up to its beak. It uh catches it. It's gone almost in an instant. It's it's like nothing for it, but uh. <laughs> Give it a good berry, nerd. It would help if I had good berries. Huh? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Seven session in a row that we've said that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to uh, take away a lot of my prepared spells to do all this adventure anyway, so I didn't even have the room to prepare Goodberry if I wanted to. <sighs> I don't even have Blight right now. Um, my My friends and I we're good at finding food. I don't know if that's a lie or not. <laughs> <laughs> I am really good at finding food. That's I'm true. Uh, make a persuasion check. Can I do it at advantage because I'm friendly and all that? I want to see if I can get the 20. I'm pretty sure that's what Charmed does. Yeah, Charmed yeah. has advantage it, on social Does it text. just does that? Give me the 20. Aww. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Total of 20. It kind of like pushes its beak forward indicating, show me. Um, I'm going to go hunting with it. You gotta hop I... on its back? Yes. I will hop on its back and let's go hunting. How long does animal friendship last? 24 hours. Damn. 
Okay. Uh, what are you going to do to help it hunt? Uh, since I can speak to it, I'll use uh, my perception to like help it point out, giving it advantage on finding food. And my my survival skills as well to like you know be able to pinpoint stuff. No, kind of studying the area to help it look for other nests or areas that bees have been roaming. Okay. Well, without your help, it wouldn't have done as well. And it gets a total of a 21. Finding a nice... And it takes you all the way down to the ground to do this. Uh, it finds a nice, large ox. Uh, one of those scraggly uh, beasts that you had seen before. And it just grabs it with its talons and takes it away, digging its talons into it, into the creature, until it stops struggling. Uh, brings you back up to... Uh, it's raining blood, yes. Brings you back up to the island, uh, which you almost fall on to, fell onto, and then starts just pecking at it, ripping pieces off of it, and then, like, offers you a small, very small share of to it anyways, like a good steak sized piece of just raw meat. Uh I'll eat it raw. <laughs> Make a con save. <laughs> Oof, you're not able to keep it down, you just <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll start to cook a little bit of it, make like a little mini fire and, you know, cook off like a chunk or two of it, not cooking all of it though. And then I'll put the rest in my pack. Okay. Uh, it, it's pretty good meat. It's fresh. <laughs> it's right. fresh kill. If it were any fresher, it'd be moving. <laughs> it may still be moving. Not moving, mooing. Oh, mooing. It might still left. <laughs> I will definitely ensure that it is very dead. Yeah, the, 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 the rock is tearing it to shreds. It is very dead. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to eat it alive. It's not that kind of druid, huh? What <laughs> kind of druid are you? Um... Uh, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll just say again, uh, my friends and I are, are very good at finding food, and you would be helpful to us. And then I'm going to go through my red cap inscriptions. Uh, and I'm going to find something that uh, that I can not carve into it, but maybe take some of the ox's blood and and put onto it uh, that... To, to aid me in keeping it calm, I don't know, I don't want it to eat my friends... <laughs> Uh, do an Arcana check. Come on, baby. <laughs> That's it's not right. bad. Uh, you're able to interpret some of the runes that are more of the brain calming, uh, rather than the brain, like, like it calms the brain Enraging. down and then enrages it even farther, like, way farther than it was. So, like, mind blanks them. It these rune type of runes don't typically work well unless they're engraved and then uh, activated. Um, but they might do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna put one in in the ox's blood and try to ch channel divine energy instead of our our king. Okay, where are you painting it with this blood? We'll do on the side of its neck. It lets you do that. It, it kind of dirties the very brilliantly blues and purple feathers a little bit, but kind of just gives you a weird look, like a quizzical bird look. <laughs> That's Kylan's response. <laughs> As she speaks in Sylvan, it's coming out more birdish than it is squirrel. -ish. Uh, and 
I want to see if I can make like a tuft in the wings. Some not wings, sorry. Um, in the feathers enough to where it's easier to ride. Okay. Uh, it's so large that you could pretty much find any spot on it and just try holding on. <laughs> Tuck leg one under feather A. Tuck leg two under feather B. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then I'm going to let it eat. Uh, and... I'm gonna write it back. Okay, so back at camp, and, I, and I'm and I'm gonna and I'm just gonna re refer re keep referring to it that my my friends don't mean you any harm like I like I don't mean you any harm. She and warned nobody that she was going to go bring a rock back to camp, <laughs> and I'm not going. Uh, and uh, they're not they wouldn't be good food for you. They're better for finding. Food. Just like me. Oh boy. Yeah, both are ready. <laughs> so back at camp. Uh, Kyle Lane's been gone for about, well, we'll be gone for about an hour. Is anyone doing anything during this time? Uh, looking for her, figuring out what's going on, or doing something else? Uh, I'm going to find a training ground and get in a boxing match. Um, I am going to study, uh, see if there's any materials or study guides or anything in my journal or anywhere else about uh, homunculi. I'm going to see about finding a larger tent and, if not a writing desk, a foldable table. Or a raven. No. <laughs> I will assist Far Traveler in doing that stuff. So. Okay, you guys are able to find one pretty easily, um, and you can start setting up everything for, for Girk. Um, Lee, you... Uh, Funny enough, there, at this time, uh, people are getting pumped for the coming of age ceremony that's about to happen, and they're actually doing some like ceremonial like uh, boxing and wrestling, and you can find a match uh, pretty easily. Go ahead and, and do an athletics check. An athletics check. Are you planning oh, on boxing oh. with your dexterity? Um. Possibly. <laughs> I was hoping to convince myself that my fists were weapons and I could use my charisma. No. No, it doesn't actually work. Um, no. You can, I, I will say you can use your dexterity on your athletics check. 11. Uh... I'm going to use inspiration for this because I'm cool. Fuck. <laughs> Not that cool, apparently. You should have tried convincing yourself harder. Can I charm myself to believe that my fists are weapons? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah? Maybe. Alright, uh, you get into a fight with a younger uh, core. One of the ones that seems to like, maybe this is their first time. <laughs> and you deck them right in the face really quick. And really sneakily. And it's just like... Eh. <sighs> it hits the ground. Uh, upon doing that, you, you get some... A's! And another core, an older gentle, Older male core goes... Come on, let's go. Um, is Far Traveler anywhere nearby? Nope. Probably not. <laughs> um, does Hex have a visual component to it? Uh, it doesn't leave anything on them necessarily. Um, but you, if it has a somatic, it would you would have to do stuff. Hmm, that's fair. Um, all right, whatever, whatever. Uh, oh, wait, that has, let's see. Nope, nope, we're just going for it. Okay, cool. 
There did not appear to be a damage component to these uh, sporadic matches, so you should be fine. Yeah, I'll be okay. It's it's kind of a win lose uh, thing going on. Hex is verbal and somatic. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to be um, like, screw you, spooky boogie, and they'd be like, you know, stop. Spooky kaboogie. That's uh, my uh, curse does not, but we'll have to wait for that until it's necessary. All right, so acrobatics again, or well, yeah, basically whatever. Yep. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> you were worse than I did. <laughs> this match is kind of pathetic. Uh, you're not sure if they feel sorry for you or if they're having a bad day as well. And you guys are missing a bunch of punches and elbows and all these and grapples are just being slipped out of. And and eventually he just er, grabs a hold of you in a big bear hug and slams you to the ground. And you both kind of just agree to let it be at that point. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of half-hearted. But the... The core stands up with you, says, Do you plan on climbing with us? Uh, that, I, uh, yes. Good, and gives you a, a good pat on the back. Climbing starts in 30 minutes. I run into find Far Traveler. <laughs> Uh, you can find him and Thok setting up uh, a pretty decent sized living TP uh, for Gurk, who is just kind of waiting. What is, what is this? I need I need to learn how to climb in like 20, 20 minutes now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> open your hand like this and put it on the rock and then close your fingers. Take your other hand, open it like this and put it on the rock and close your fingers and you're good. I think you God. use your legs, too. <laughs> she didn't say she wanted to be a good climber. <laughs> I... Okay. Alright, bye. And I run back. <laughs> bye. Uh, Jack, you're learning about... Trying to learn about homunculi. Do... Do an Archon check. Okay. It's not bad. Um, so you're you're flipping through all your notes, your journals, everything you've learned from Ormer, uh, stuff like that, and uh, going through even your grandfather's journal. It, re it seems to be revealing a little bit more to you. Actually, it seems to be revealing a lot more to you. Everything, every page of the book seems to have some knowledge that it can tell you about creating a homunculi. So it doesn't Sweet. seem to be the, the main purpose you thought of the book. It was a journal your grandfather gave you. But for now, it's useful. Um, and given the uh, correct amount of uh, material components, you're pretty sure, uh, given, like I said, the material components... Uh, you could create one. All right. So I will, uh, on a separate piece of paper, because I don't know how, how long this will last since the journal tends to morph and shift, I'll write down everything I need, the ritual and the components. Okay. Uh, is there a spell for that? In five? For what? Like creating a homunculus. <laughs> Uh, if there is, it'd probably be under the homunculus section of the monster manual. Okay. There is. It's in uh, Xanathar's. No oh, shit. Uh, Wait, really? 152. Everything's in Xanathar's. It's the guide to everything. It's right there in the title guide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like the components, if you want to take it from here, clay, ash, mandrake, root, all of which the spell consumes, a jewel-encrusted dagger, we at least a thousand, and it looks like you hurt yourself and use your own blood. Yeah. Um. 
Uh, how long does it last? I think. It's instantaneous, so it's completed once you cast it. Okay, that means it, it does not go away. So yeah, you have figured out the spell Create Homunculus. Woo, alright. I will just kind of tuck that in my pocket and wait until I have enough money to or find a dagger that's worth at least a thousand. Yeah, you're also going to have to make a spell scroll or find uh, someone who can uh, learn it. Or learn it yourself. You can learn it innately as well. Um, okay. If it's a sorcerer spell. I don't know if it is. Even if it's not, sorcerers can learn things that the DM says they can learn, and you kind of just said that he could learn that. Sure, we'll just <laughs> let it be. Once you can cast a 6 level spell slot, you can learn that spell. Uh, <laughs> Alright, sweet. That's not too long. Yeah. Alright. So that, that takes most of the time for you. Uh, so, Far Traveler and Thok, well, since you guys are both around, um, you hear the music playing in the distance of uh, of what seems to be the beginning of the ceremony. Uh, do you guys go investigate? Yes. I don't think I need to investigate. I think I know absolutely what that is and where to go. As well, I did it myself, right? That's true. Are you planning on doing it now? Um, it is always open for everyone. It's just also a coming of age ceremony. Uh, for kids. Uh, not unless challenged. I'm relatively sure my experiences will have left me to be one of the fastest core in existence. Um. <clears throat> I'll try it out. Why not? One of the... Uh... They seem to be like, yeah, come, come, honored guests, join us, join us. You must do the climb as well. They also offer for Jack to join, as well as Ormer, who immediately <laughs> goes, that's not for me. Uh, I will, heck, man, why not? If everybody's doing it, I'll give it a shot. The voice of Ugin calls from the grave and says, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> Um, one of the elders actually walks up to you, Farcheller, and goes, you have been gone for a long time, and we know you've already done this climb just the other night, uh, evening, I guess, but would you like to lead the climb? Am I fit to lead this? I would show everyone what progress you have made for the ancestors, and they deem that you are... Uh, really becoming a model of the tribe. It will one day become a great ancestor yourself. Okay, I'll participate then. Okay. Uh, I was selected to go out on the journeys because I was one of the most fit already, so yeah, I've become it, even stronger yeah. since then. Stronger is not the right word. More capable. Yeah. Strength in this, rather than strength of body. Or strength in being who you are. Whatever. Anyways, uh, so, <clears throat> the way this I need works... I use the restroom real quick. How dare you? And Lee's gonna duck away. <laughs> Do a self-check. No, like, I'm gonna tell everyone I need to use the restroom real quick and go find a privy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming back? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hide like wherever I can find myself, and I'm gonna cast fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, w w when you head back after casting fly on yourself successfully, I'm gonna uh, back. yeah. Okay. Um. The the core that you wrestled with is waiting for you. Oh, oh, I thought you got scared. Come, come. Everyone's waiting. Okay. Um, so well, everyone else, as this is happening. Hmm? At the very least, that should put you at least neutral 
uh, uh, with a core, because without a climb speed, you move half. With a fly yeah. speed, you might be able to keep up now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so everyone is brought down. Uh, there's this netting that is kind of, kind of like on a ship where they have the netting you can climb up. Um, there's netting that's laid down the side of the island that lands on a nearby uh, smaller island that you can take to where you guys actually came up originally. Um, My brother was like session 35 instead of session one, because if this was like session one on a Final Fantasy game or something like that, this would be like when the giant evil monster blows up the world. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then suddenly, uh, <laughs> it's now that you guys who are not used to this, so uh, the three of you, not Far Traveler, uh, realize how far up you really are. Uh, you're pretty sure you're good 1,200 feet off the ground. I thought you said it was 100 feet. No, oh, it was a thousand feet where Kylin was, or is, and is yeah, heading I mean, like, back I from. I the climb was a hundred feet. To here? Yes. Yeah, from the from the island to the surface of the plane. Yeah. It's a thousand so, feet from where Kylin was. At Kylin's location, I said a thousand. I don't remember saying anything about it yesterday, or know. like Sunday. Never mind. Um, Whatever. It, maybe the first one was. But you guys have been steadily climbing up of these islands. Okay. So you actually do have some experience climbing. Um, though a lot of it was flown. Anyways, uh, you're brought down into the correct area. Uh, Lee, you're, take, uh, you're escorted by your wrestling buddy. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, the eld everyone's there and the elders climb down. I mean they're not that old, but uh the elders are there, the kids are there. It seems to be that this year the coming of age ceremony is for two young boys. They look to be about the age fourteen. Uh maybe a little older, fourteen to sixteen years old. And this is their first climb of the the wall. Okay. Uh... So, uh, many core line, line this wall that all of you are about to climb. And, uh, as it, it is, the fall technically is just onto another island, but if you really screw up, there is a possibility of falling past it. Um, but that's that's not likely. I mean, it's only a five percent chance, right? Uh, everyone making the climb, except for Far Traveler, go ahead and make an athletics check. What if I'm flying and just very cleverly pretending that I'm holding onto the rocks? Uh, then you're fine. <laughs> Should I make some sort of deception check or? Something? Uh, I um. Deception. I didn't want to say it'd be like your dexterity or something. It would be it would be sleight of hand, I would think, because de deception is like trying to convince someone with your words. Sleight of hand is trying to convince something using your body language. That's why he just said a deception check based on dexterity instead of charisma. Yep. I'm good with that because that at least gives me proficiency. That's also part of the reason why I wanted that. So. Okay. Um, how do I, let's see, let's do it this way is going to be the easiest way. Crack me. Luckily for you, most people don't pay attention that close. It's a pretty dang average check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If somebody starts, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know. Yeah, no, that'll be interesting. So, um, Thok and Jet, uh, you're not having almost any issue every once in a while. You're definitely going slower than the core. The core just, like, 
climbing up it like spiders. It's kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> it's just seeing all of them climb up so quickly. Uh, the kids are a little behind them, but even they are passing you up a bit. <laughs> Lee, oddly enough, is just rocketing up this thing with the other core like it's nothing. Like, yeah, she was born for this as well. I have a 60-foot move speed, so... <laughs> Do you want to go past them? Um, I don't want to go past Far Traveler. <laughs> you tried your best you would tie uh, I think so yeah because you have a bonus action dash don't you yeah Yeah. Um, I will stay a good 10-20 feet behind Far Traveler but I'll keep pace with him okay <laughs> the two of you pass everyone and everyone is like cheering like oh my gosh this is amazing and they're just like yeah super pumped and going at it Jack, you feel like, you're doing a really good job. This is not your forte, and you still feel like you're really putting yourself into it and doing a good job. Um, Far Traveler and Lee, you make it to the top uh, much faster than everyone else. You kind of look down, and Lee, you probably might feel a little good about yourself. Far Traveler, you probably feel like, yeah, that was expected. <laughs> yeah, that was expected. And uh, And then you guys look up. And you see a gigantic bird flying incredibly <laughs> fast directly towards the island. I'll, I'll look over at Lee, who, Lee, who's standing there, give her a nod, and draw my bow. I will summon my bow. Okay. Um. <laughs> Have uh, Thok and myself made it to the top? Uh, no. Uh, as they summon or draw their weapons and get ready for combat, uh, a lot of the other core are starting to do the same, and you, you start hearing a lot of ruckus from above. And you look behind you, and there's a giant bird <laughs> coming closer incredibly fast. <clears throat> Yeah, you're not gonna you make it there in the quarter of the time. Half the time is everyone else. <laughs> uh, four times going. longer, not quarter. Sorry, four times longer, twice the amount of time as everyone else. Uh, Jack, so you're you halfway up when everyone ride. else has been. What's that? Jack, do you want to go on a magic carpet ride? Uh, Port that's over there. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. So I. I will uh, swing my hand over to uh, Thok, and we will far step to the top. Or not far step, rather dimension door to the top. Okay. Uh, so, Kylin, you fly in on your new bird friend. You've had some time to bond. About an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and in the distance, you see... What look like ants on a ant hill climbing up the side of of the wall, and uh, your friend, Mister Rock, seems to think they look delicious. I Insta would. Do I recognize the area at least enough to know that this is where I was headed? Yeah. Okay. I mean, at, at this distance, it's hard to tell that they're people, people, but to it, it looks like food. Uh, <laughs> and it's beginning to charge. Um, and then you notice that there's a couple of people on top of the hip ridge with bow bows drawn. Uh, so speaking of those people, Lee and Far Traveler, when do you shoot? Uh, uh, are we entitled to any sort of perception check, maybe? Okay, you can do a perception check. Um, I'm going to fail it, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use inspiration on that. I thought you can also ejected. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, funny enough, you're the only person to recognize Kylin riding on the back of this bird. Of course. <laughs> Fires immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I pull back this bowstring 
and, and I decided against it. Wait, why is Kylan on the back of a giant bird? Wait, that's Kylan on the, the back of that. You are not there. You just see I the bird. Teleported. Yeah, they uh, dimension doored up to the top. Oh, that's right. You guys dimension doored. Okay, you guys are there. That's right. My bad. Yeah, I'll I'll point out Kylan <laughs> begrudgingly. <laughs> Squint. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> Lee, how come you haven't dropped your bow yet? <laughs> I didn't. I mean, <laughs> it's a giant bird. It might still attack us. But it's aimed directly at Kylan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have an arrow knocked. Uh, you never okay. have an arrow knocked. Uh, yeah, they could just kind of appear. <laughs> well, let's see if Kaylin can manage her mount. If not, it's about to become a shish kebab. Ooh, babe. That would be enough chicken to go around. <laughs> yeah, Doc might even get some that time. <laughs> um, I okay, so. As you guys are kind of discussing this, uh, the rest of the core are listening in. All of them have their bows at the ready. Like, do we shoot or no? We're still I... waiting to find out. Yeah, I don't have an answer for you yet. Okay. Um, uh, most of them will kind of back away from the edge to give a little bit more space. Uh, do you guys follow suit or do you stay on the edge? Uh, no, I definitely want to get away. Oh, I'm still flying. Like... I'm going to fly back away from the edge, actually. Like, off the edge. Visibly? Yeah. Visibly <laughs> yeah. now. You as hear I some murmur. That, like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have much what room the... to talk, Jack. Well, I didn't... I was using the yeah, spirit yeah. of competition. <laughs> I was going to get there eventually. I think I'm going to uh, use one of my climbing hooks to uh, secure my position on the ridge and stay. Okay. Thought inject. Backing up. Or... And I also say, oh, I didn't know that once you pass the test of manlyhood, then you could climb air. <laughs> <laughs> I just I look mean, slowly <laughs> over, I look slowly <laughs> over and talk to my really? That's the best you all right. Inspiration Maybe to Thok. You <laughs> I already Thok, have You'll find out. Do you still have that uh, dispel magic on hand, maybe? Oh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. Counterspell. <laughs> Fucking Wily e. Coyote, that shit. Like, look down. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, Jack, are you backing up or are you staying on the ridge with... Oh, I'm definitely not getting close to that thing. I'm backing up and seeing if I could find like a rocky crevice to kind of, you know, hide around, but you know, still keep an eye on what's going on. Check. Uh, for the most part, this island is flat, but it does have some tents that you can kind of sneak behind. I'll do uh, that. Okay. Um, Kyla and everyone's getting into this formation as you slow, well, not slowly, quickly make your approach. Um, you've got about another six seconds before you land. These are my hunting friends. They can help you. Do you want to be a bit more convincing than that? Uh, that's the only thing that's worked so far. Um, these are my hunting friends. There's a lot of full bellies ahead. Don't feel your belly now. Full bellies for the rest of your life. Do a persuasion. An advantage. Come on, dice. <sighs> uh, the rock makes its descent and lands near <clears throat> Doc and Far Traveler. It just kind of Is it... cocks its head. It's not hostile? Okay. I'm gonna hop off and it like, like 
just keep a hand on it. <laughs> like, really, not no, no. <laughs> I heard, I heard some people are coming of age today. Looks like I am too. Uh. What did you do to that bird? <laughs> <laughs> I think Doc exploded. Hello, birdie. You look big. So Kyle in. Yes, Doc? The fuck? This is my bird friend. Oh, hey guys, remember when I said I saw something in the sky and it was really scary? Me, really scary. Wait, I thought the cave was really scary. His name is Cave. <laughs> is Okay, is this a male or a female? Regardless, its name is Cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Well, you want to pull up its skirt and check? Oh, did that weird. Okay. I'm not getting near that thing. <laughs> it is a female. Her her name is Kate. That's so fitting in so many ways. <laughs> rock. Cave the rock. So she's a rock cave. cave. She reaches her head forward towards Thok. We don't need to go hunting again just yet. We'll go in a minute. What do I smell? Raw meat. It's covered in slime. Hmm. Sock doesn't even flinch. He's trembling, but he didn't flinch. <laughs> <laughs> He's wetting himself, but didn't flinch. <laughs> Kenna see and Thok covered in phlegm and chunks of recently devoured animal. I try and not throw up like I'm visibly like gagging. Just, <laughs> uh, so, Kylin. Yes, Thok? What were your plans on bringing <laughs> this bird over <laughs> here? Well, it's a really, really big bird. And I like really, really big birds. So I went and got one. Starts pecking around you, Kylan. Uh, hey, guys. Um, in the future, let's not uh, kill the bird. Uh, I think I need to take it hunting. Again. I feel like this is going to be more trouble than it's worth. I will have to agree Just with Lee. It I'm just might. Like, I'm not gonna make any promises not to kill the bird. Okay, okay, and I'm gonna say in common, obviously. Okay, just don't kill the bird while I'm on it. That sounds more reasonable. I. Uh, uh, no. Nope. <laughs> uh. So yeah, this is this is cave. Uh, I'll be back. Um, so you guys remember that part where we're at the opening ceremonies and this giant monster flies out? Uh-huh. That still happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> This is such a lot. Hey, hey, hey traveler, is this, like, some kind of sacrilege or something in, in the core? I don't think so. No? For interrupting a manlyhood ritual? No, they all made it. The only people left were you two, and you guys oh. quit. Oh, well. Um, congratulations. Uh, as a reward, you get to see this bird. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a feast tonight in their honor, but it is rare to see one of these so close and not trying to eat you. We'll, we'll bring back some meat for the feast. Yeah, good luck convincing the rock to part with that. Part of a steak. I'll just get <laughs> a couple of them, and then we can split them. Just, just right, just good steaks. Three steaks for the whole tribe. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and if nobody objects to anything or has anything else to say, I'm going to start getting back on the bird. I object. Uh, <laughs> so, can this bird take us to the obsidian tower? I'm not sure to the bird and just in common. I'm just going to say, can you take us to the obsidian tower? <laughs> oh no. Jack's grandfather is the bird. <laughs> I just look at my god. How do you figure that? It's just a hunch. Can you speak to us? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a twitchy trigger finger. You should really take that thing away. Uh, we're gonna go hunting. You go nuts. And, uh, like, I, I... Have you ever, like, had someone in a room who just, like, shits themselves and they don't <laughs> act like anything has happened? And, like, you can't say anything because then you, you... I feel like that's happened because you brought a big bird here that might kill us. No, it's not gonna kill us. It just needs to get fed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll let you take care of that. <laughs> I've summoned giant eagles. I mean, how different is this? Um, it's bigger than two e two giant eagles. Yeah, it's... Combined. How good you of gonna... a hold do you have on this thing? Uh, I mean, I can just keep getting a hold of it. But like, do you have direct control or? Uh, I, you know, with words. He's my friend. This is my friend Cave. Oh, um, friendship magic is very different than control magic. Yeah. The control is by the words, not mentioning at all how much I failed at controlling it. <laughs> <laughs> I I know how this works. I'm I'm not at all comfortable with this. You might want to heal up before you uh, go hunting again. Eh, I'll be okay. <laughs> totally bruised and battered. Ah, you know, gonna just gonna brush it off. That seems so out of character. <laughs> Kylin is so not having anything good for healing right now. You do a healing is... spirit. That bird is also beat up. Oh, can I use a healing spirit to heal the bird? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do a healing spirit. We're going to wait around for him. Actually, no. I'm going to fly off first to a different island, away from the party, and then we're going to heal up. Okay. Have fun storming the plateau. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your healing spirit. All right, you heal up. And the birdie does too, because it took less damage than that, right? Yeah, you both did. Awesome. Let's say that's in the future, because I don't know how much more the party has to say before we fly off. Any last words before I go that for my hunt? Really poorly put. Oh no, it was it was perfect. I have nothing to input if it's last words. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible last words. Any last words? I have nothing to input. <laughs> my wife, I said hello. Your wife? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna head back to the encampment right now, but I'll keep it in mind. But um cha. Okay. Um for sake of 
story will say that Kylan is able to go and hunt the rock, feeling hungry, picks up an adolescent mammoth and brings it back. To the to that island? Yeah. That's or to its, its nest. It's it's new perch where you told it to, that you were gonna be. Oh, okay. Just drops it off. This is really bad. Because what happens when you leave and it now thinks that this is its territory? Uh, while Kylan is off hunting, what are other people doing? I'm going to bring that exact fear up to the rest of the party. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we should probably do as Doc says and convince her to have it take us out to the Obsidian Tower. That's not a bad plan. And then try to convince it that there's more food down south. Or uh, give it directions to make a sale and have it uh, take some nice meals there. That's not a terrible plan, except for, do we know how to get to Miyakasel? Actually, yes. Oh. Okay. How do we get there? Well, we'll either need to fly north, which, uh, surprisingly, birds can do, or we'll need to <laughs> teleport. Well, I think the rock can only do one of those, but I think it can do one of those rather well. I hope I concur with your thoughts, but I'm not telepathic, so we'll just have to assume that you're right. Yeah, totally. Teleport, right? <laughs> when did you get a sense of humor? <laughs> uh, I've always had one. It's just not often shown. Okay. Do you guys do any archery contests? DM. Uh, there's almost no core that would deny any challenge of accuracy and skill. That's that's fair. You could that's... probably get a uh, tournament of any sort you wanted. I will remind you, though, that we have five days to find the Obsidian Tower and make it back. Okay. Uh, I believe today was today's purpose was to witness the uh, coming of age ceremony and then head out after that. Speaking of, turn around and address the elders. They have succeeded. <laughs> oh, they have already uh, started preparing for that. Oh well, thanks, Dia. We missed it. I thought I said something that there would be a feast in the evening where they would be uh, recognized for their accomplishment. Oh. And they are getting recognition from the rest of the tribe and uh, given small gifts of, uh, like, uh, bird bone necklaces and small trinkets. And uh, But the major things, which is their very own and very first personal climbing gear, like major climbing gear, will be given to them at the feast. <laughs> oh, right. As I mentioned, I wanted to contribute to rope resources towards that from last time, but that uh, wasn't addressed until after session. Right, right. Um, the the elders will graciously accept your gift and say that it will be uh, <laughs> given to them as rope from the tribe and the ancestors and that it has already seen much use and brought much uh, safety to those who have used it. Stuff like that. For your feats today, you get used rope. <laughs> <laughs> In a society where everything made and given by the ancestors, that is a very good thing. 
All right. Um, so Kylan's off hunting. You guys are planning anything else? Nope. Um, Locke's going to hang around with Spot Traveler and just kind of observe this different culture and like ask them questions like, ooh, what, what, how, how do they make those meals? Or uh, like kind of, I don't know, be a little inquisitive. I actually don't have any problems answering his questions this time. So answering questions off screen. Ta da! <laughs> Uh, so the most of the hustle and bustle of the day is preparing for the feast and also doing a pre striking of camp as they don't plan on staying here much longer than a day. Um, after the, f the next morning, they plan on heading out to their next location. <clears throat> we'll also mention that, uh, Girk is willing to create teleportation circles should we desire to assault make a sale ourselves oh oh that could be useful oh that could be very useful yeah that's that's why we're here Lee <laughs> well I learning. didn't realize he was going to be so helpful well I did kind of save his life back then twice Okay. Then good. Do you want to go without Kylin? <laughs> no, Kylin was the one who offered to help us find the Obsidian Tower, so she's sort of screwing her own promise over at the moment, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <clears throat> I don't know what the nudge nudge wink wink is actually for, to be honest. Is Jack doing anything else? Or is he just kind of with, with Thok? Or yeah. his own thing? Just kind of following the party, not really. Just whatever. Okay. Um, so Kylan returns with a adolescent uh, mammoth in tow attached to the giant rock. Uh, the rock cuts out a bunch of it for itself, what it wants, and then uh, just leaves the rest. Tearing up the innards a lot, because it's just raking at it with its talons until it gets what it wants, tearing the meats. Then it nudges the rest. All right, then I think. Are we going to stay for dinner? I would think. I assume that was covered as part of the uh, time we allotted for the ceremonies. Yeah. Okay, and then are we leaving tonight then or in the morning? Well. Uh, I think we should leave as early as possible, so probably tonight, if we can manage it. If not, then we don't have much choice, do we? I'm fine with leaving tonight. Anybody else have thoughts? Tonight sounds good to me. Sure. Are you offering up any of that meat, Kylan? <laughs> Yeah, whatever the rock pushed for it is game. Okay. Correct. <laughs> uh, the core, not really knowing how to cook it, just goes, okay, they're pretty resourceful. They gather as much meat as they can out of the body, use, taking the bones that they can get um, that are not destroyed, as well as some of the hide, and they strip the mammoth down and about an hour and a half clean. I'll, I'll assist them. Okay. Um, that's done very well and even faster and smoother. Perfect hides. Getting rid of the meat. Yeah. 
Um, as the evening sun, the sun sets into the evening, uh, mm -hmm. most of the uh, camp, actually all of the tribe that is there is in this large area with um, some makeshift tables uh, set there and made there long ago. Uh, so they're not really makeshift, I should say. They're solid tables made out of uh, what trees used to be in nearby areas. Um, possibly some that they may have grown themselves many uh, a while ago. <clears throat> and a great <clears throat> bonfire uh, is made where it's it's 50 feet across by about 20 feet wide uh, with the flames roasting slowly with the hot embers this mammoth meat uh, the feast begins and the ceremony commences as the sun trickles over the edges and lights of uh, different lights of the uh, fire because the, the hot embers still is enough to illuminate everybody and also some small lanterns that they they have are, are lit around to give the illumination to the area uh, to the two young now men uh, gifts are given their first climbing set as well as the rope uh, provided by Far Traveler as rope that has served its purpose for one of the tribe and shall be passed forward so it may serve another as strong rope uh, that has already proven itself and shall prove itself in the future. Um, something that you guys are mostly used to, uh, Far Traveler, you're completely used to it, is that the spirit of the ancestors, they actually seem to be most of the party, but they're, they're not, like, actively uh, participating as much as, like, in combat you, you've seen them, but they, they seem to have a presence above, especially, like, the elders and some of the higher-up tribe members and the, the older one, the older tribe members, as well as Far Traveler. Uh, but they do a little bit interact with people around. The 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 amount of them is considerably more than you're used to, but them happening or being around is not as weird. That's a big old family. Are we supposed to offer them chicken? I think they'll be fine without chicken. Did you ask? Did I ask? No. Then you don't know if they want chicken or not. <laughs> Call it a hunch. I will try and get the attention of one of the ghosties. Yes, Lee? Do you want some chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do not eat. And then floats away. He knew my name. <laughs> okay, I think that is where we're going to end it for tonight. A lot less happened than I thought, but a lot more than I thought was going to happen happened. So I don't know. That's a weird way of saying that. <laughs> Stuff happened. Expected or not. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see where this leads next time. Thank you all for watching. Thank you guys for playing. And as always, stay classy. Good night. Bye.